just like this pumpkin spice latte, thrifting has became like an addiction. Like it was a hobby. It's an addiction and it's ridiculous. Hey you guys, I hope you all are well in your lives. So I am out with my kiddos and um, I just, <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, so I got my wisdom tooth extracted a few weeks ago and um, it's still in the process of healing. So I have, I still have a hole back there. And so the other day I was craving some fried chicken. So I fried some chicken. <laughs> And I'm finally able to like chew on both sides of my mouth. So I got chicken stuck back there So I had to go to the dentist today so they can rinse my teeth or rinse the extraction hole out It was just weird <laughs> But anyways, I have some extra time on my hands. So I decided to check out this Miracle Hill um, I'm still in my hometown. So I am at the Miracle Hill um if you are watching this and you're from Greenville, South Carolina, it is on South Pleasantburg. And it's in the same, it's actually the bylaw that used to be here on South Pleasantburg by Greenville Tech. So if you're from Greenville or you live in Greenville, then you know what I'm talking about. So huge, so I'm excited to go inside. I used to shop at this bylaw all the time. And so um, I'm excited because it is a big store. So I just want to see how they have it. Um, set up on the inside um hopefully i can get some footage on the inside i don't know how it's gonna go but yeah let's just go in let's try it again we're ready to go inside here is my bag of thrift find my time here in my hometown is coming to an end and it's like these last few thrift stores that I've been going to like I've been finding everything that I've been looking for like all summer and I'm like finding it at the last minute so whatever I can't wait to show you guys one thing that I do want to show you guys right now this beautiful orange mug look at that it was only a dollar so pretty and i told you guys orange is my favorite color so i had to pick this up i will be mailing this back to myself okay hey you guys you have made it to the haul and try on portion of the video thank you guys for continuing to watch this um thrift haul so first of all round of applause for myself because both of my kids are napping at the same time. <laughs> Usually it's just like either one, like one is sleeping and then one is up and then the next one goes to sleep and then the next one is up. It's... Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> Everything is washed and ready to hit these streets. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So the sale prices at this Miracle Hill location were blue tags, a dollar and women's pants were 25 percent off um one thing that i don't really like about this miracle hill is some of the things didn't have like color tags some of the tags were like a gray tag and then it had like a written price on it so i don't know i guess they were like the more fancy items at the thrift store um which i just i don't like when thrift stores do that it, there was nothing vintage about some of the pants. They had them for like $20 and up, but it was nothing vintage about the pants. They were just regular dress pants. And so that was kind of like irritating me because I'm like, this is a thrift store. It's not a vintage thrift store. I found a pair of New York and Company pants and they were $20 and they fit perfectly. They were like the right size, but I wasn't willing to pay um, $20 for it. Granted, it was that on that day. It was 25% off of that 20, but I still didn't want to pay. I think she said it was like $15. I still didn't want to pay $15 for those um, at the thrift store. I don't know. It's just 
when I'm at a thrift store, I want to take I want to pay thrift prices. And to me, like fifteen dollars, if it's not vintage or like worth anything, then I'm not going to pay that price. Anywho, so the first thing that I'm going to start off with are these, um, I guess people call them track pants. I don't know. Anyways, it was a blue tag, so it was only a dollar and they are from Reebok. I got it in a size extra small. It's just just some regular gray pants with um, purple line detailing on, going down on the side. The only thing that disappointed me about these pants, um, I don't like mid rise things. Um, I guess these would be cool to like just lounge around the house in. Yeah, nothing much to say about these. I just wish they were high waisted. The next piece is this blue vest top like what do you call these tops uh, this sleeveless vest button down <laughs> i don't know um it's in it's from exclusive by whispers in a size small it was a blue tag so it was only a dollar but uh yeah hear me out you guys hear me out I know I look like a 90s mom taking my kids to Disney World in this shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, when I seen it, I don't know what attracted me to it. Like, I was just like, I want it. And I just feel like I can rock this. Like, <laughs> even though it has like the little fishes on there and stuff like that, I mean, definitely look like a 90s mom but i can rock it and even though it's a size small i like how it's oversized like it kind of fits like it's really long on me yeah also after i bought it and i took it back to my mom's house i was just like uh okay i really bought this and i'm really doing this 90s <laughs> this 90s thing like i'm going back to the 90s but i'm going back to the 90s as a 33 year old with two kids. So I feel like I can pull this off now. And also I was just walking around and like looking at old pictures up on the wall that my mom have up. And um, I found this picture up of her. Let me post it right here. Thank you, mama. You gave me inspiration. My mama pulled it off. I think this picture is from the eighties. She pulled it off though and my mom was my inspo for this shirt after i seen that picture i felt so much better about buying this shirt these next two pieces y'all i'm so proud of myself like so proud of myself so i only got just a pan of the store um that's the only footage that i got inside of the thrift store so let me show you guys that really quickly Okay, so as you notice, the first thing that I seen, the first aisle that I went down were blazers. This store, this Miracle Hill location had so many blazers and I'll remind you of the location I went to. I'll post a picture up, but I went to the location on South Pleasantburg, right by Greenville Tech. This Miracle Hill used to be a buy low. The, the thing that I really liked about this Miracle Hill that they had a whole bunch of blazers like lined up Ugh. so i ended up finding two blazers two more blazers so this puts my total of blazers that i've thrifted so far at five blazers so yeah i have five five blazers that i will be taking back to sacramento with me and i'm excited i'm ready for the fall y'all well both of the blazers that i purchased were not on sale so i got them for four dollars and 25 cents each the first one is this tan blazer here it's from shape benefits and it's in a size eight and i really love this color and also i like the buttons and how they're just like snap 
and then it has like some zigzag detailing right there but i really love the buttons and how easy they are and just snap it on and unsnap it but i love the two blazers that i purchased from this miracle heel because i feel like it has like that v shape like right when it hits your hip bones and so it like molds with your body if you get the if you get the right size if that makes sense and i love how like a little bit fitted it is and a little bit baggy so it's like i get the best of both worlds like i get that oversized look but it's also like fitting and like shaping my body and so yeah i really love that um and i haven't thrifted one in this color so i felt like this color was super cute i feel like this color is good pretty much all year like all four seasons this color can be rocked and super cute and pretty the next blazer is this gray with like a lilac purple detailing don't know where it's from because somebody literally like ripped the tag out of it but um and i also don't know the size because yeah but it fits perfectly and so that's all that matters um it has one button and there were no pockets on the tan one and there's no pockets on this one either it just has a line so it's like a fake pocket which is kind of disappointing low-key but i really love this one i really love how it fits like right here it's got that dip right there by your hip so that way like you can still have like body in the blazer and so like the the blazer is not like eating you alive if that makes sense that's kind of sounding like dramatic and weird but you get what i'm saying like it just it shapes your body also and so i really love this one here and i don't know i just really love this one and i like that purple on the inside and yeah this one has easily just became my favorite one you are watching this um like maybe this is a sign to just like step out of your comfort zone if you want to start trying things like just go for it because i have never been like the blazer type of girl or like buying dress clothes and like dressing it down my my style is taking a transition and i'm kind of enjoying it right now like i'm super excited to like when i go back to sacramento to start styling these pieces as the um as the weather starts to change and i'm super excited and um i'm i'm wanting this thrift trip to be my last um thrift session here in greenville um <laughs> i'm mm, i'm really hoping i can do this and not thrift anymore or buy any more clothing pieces because my suitcases are exploding and i'm already i already have to mail like a whole bunch of stuff to myself anyway so this i'm declaring this as my last thrift session here in my hometown um so yeah i'm excited to go back to sac in september and um thrift some more but right now i'm just going to be taking a pause on the thrifting sessions and um but yeah you guys will definitely get more videos from me but they will be more hair related i may do a day in the life um with my children not sure but definitely more hair videos please give this video a thumbs up um thank you guys for watching this video i know it was a short haul but they i felt like i found some great pieces so i definitely wanted to share them with you guys please subscribe to my channel also follow me on my instagram at inna underscore sunflowers underscore world um on my instagram i have hair reels and um i basically share like tips and wash day tips hair styling tips um on those so definitely check me out on instagram and follow me on there um thank you so so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in my next one one love